Last time... It's not a good start. That really is not a good start. Um... There we go. Firmino in. Gets the tire. Gets the tire. Yeah, one all against West Brom. That was probably the most boring game I have had in a long time. Ladies and gents, welcome back as usual to our Liverpool save. As always, we have a few odds and ends that we need to take care of first. The West Ham match. This was the game I was going to get to during this episode, but OBS decided to flake out on me, and all I could record was the pre-match. So that flew out the window pretty quick. So with that, we will bring you the match just following the West Ham game. But first, let's find out who that just might be. It is apparently cup draw season. First up, the draw for the FA Cup. Well, we are starting off this episode with the draw for the English FA Cup third round. Plenty of teams to play for. I'm not going to worry about any of this. Uh, Manu Walsall. Really. Yeah, we're going to get a premier team. I bet. Liverpool Braintree. Von Arama North. So that should be something we crush them in. So, well, then again, I'm going to play the kids. Uh, so I'm going to do automatic draw. Yeah, stop doing that. Just draw all the teams. So we are playing Braintree. That should definitely be a win. And into the fourth round we go. Next up, the more important Champions Cup draw. And now we have the Champions Cup. Not first knockout round draw. So let's see, we are a seeded team, so let's view the draw. Oh, and there you go. Right there, Juventus. That is going to be one hell of a game. Or a set of games, I should say. So, Man United let it go. Inter Leverkusen, Shakhtar Barcelona. So pretty much... Juventus Liverpool, that's I don't know who's gonna deal with that one. I'm obviously I'm hoping we're gonna come out with that. Now let's get to the rest of the video. Firmino gets a whole new contract. 200000 per week. Holy crap! He demanded more, but you know, I was able to talk him down a little. But he, he I mean he has been pretty good, so I can't complain too much. And if anything, we can try and sell him off next summer like everyone else that we seem to be doing. And look at that team of the week. Who boy, Wijnaldum, Ali, Mane, Matip, and Klein. Loving this team. And more honors our way. Gaia gets into the world team of the year. The one player who hasn't asked to be sold on. Go figure. Well, at least so far. And Matip is into the African 11 of the year, as well as gets African defender of the year. And of course, I get top boss for the month of December. Go me! And with it always, all of the end of the year rewards coming around can only mean one thing. Yup, transfer season is upon us again. And first up, Bayern have approached us for Thiago Maia. I mean, you can't blame them, but I really don't want to lose this kid. He's fantastic and is going to be a huge piece of this team and very hard to replace. Oh, and apparently we're looking at Sergio Roberto. That, that's news to me. Um, I haven't put any inquiries in for him, so... But with that, I honestly have no clue whom I'll bring in this window, if anyone. I know a few players want to leave, like Mane, that little freaking punk. But only one person on our team so far is probably on his way out, and I'll show you that in the next episode. But for now, I have no clue who might be finding their way in. Ante Korch is on the transfer list, so that's a possibility. But am I only really bringing him in as a known FM star, or because I actually need him? Not really sure on that. Then there are others, but nobody definite right now, so we'll have to wait and see in the next episode. I might have to bring in another winger, as both Matip and Mane are off for the African Cup of Nations for a month, but Ojo has been filling the winger holes pretty nicely, and as I mentioned in the summer transfer window, we still have Sturge and Origi, who aren't really getting a lot of playtime as they should, so they really are good fillers as well, so we'll just have to see. I do have plans for the summer with some more older folks probably heading for the door, but that's still five or six months off, so who knows. So we'll, set, we'll have to see how this month goes first. But now, since the West Ham game went kaput, the last episode saw a one-all draw against lowly West Brom. Since then, nothing but green as per usual. I go off camera and damn, we go on another streak. It's actually pretty annoying, to be honest. A win against Tottenham both in the EFL Cup, seeing us progress to the next round, as well as the league, which saw Ali score and sadly celebrate, I really don't like it when they do that, against his former club, and then wins against Burnley, Newcastle, and Watford. Too bad we didn't win against Watford in real life. Anyway. And then a terrific match against Man U, which brings us within three points of the league leaders. Loved that game. Could have scored more, but you know, I'll take a win against the likes of them. And then we have our one-all draw against West Ham. I guess I was glad we couldn't play this game on camera. 
but they had just fired Claudio Ranieri a few weeks before, so we really should have smashed them, gotten a lot more out of this game, and we just didn't. Oh well. Hopefully we'll be back to our winning ways against lowly Vanarama Braintree. Please, for the love of God. I know there's no reason that I should bring you this match, it, but I really don't want to go too far into the window without an episode, so Braintree it is. So let's do this. Braintree visits the Anfield Fortress for our FA Cup third round tie. Please be a thrashing. Well, we are playing with a somewhat heavily rotated side. We have Karius in goal, Cessna Mati, Van Dyke, and Tete in back, Romero and Wijnaldum in the midfield, Origi, Firmino, Sturridge, and Bellotti up front. And let's get this going. Our first foray into the FA Cup starts today. And a lot of time is passing without an actual highlight. Okay, Sturridge, there we go. Up to Wijnaldum, over to Rigi, who gets the first goal of the match. 24th minute, nice. Pretty good goal, too. Sturridge is able to weave his way in and out of the players. Up to Rigi. Who is this? Ah, I can't. The Bellotti. Oof. Let's get the second half started. These have been quick episodes for some reason. Even the West Ham game that failed miserably was a fairly quick game. I think there were only a handful of highlights. Up to Cessignon. Into Origi who goes over to Sturridge and gets his goal. 2-0. I, I, I would have said I expected an absolute thrashing today. But, I mean, all these these players are pretty much not new to the team, but they don't play all that often. So Origi and Sturridge are on the sides when they should be up front. Bellotti's not doing well this season, uh, but he deserves some starts. So so 86, 7, 8. No, let's see. Can we do? Can we get a third? That was a horrible pass. Bellotti, can you get to? Yes, he does. Well, I mean, it is a Van Vanarama team, so I'm not surprised that they're doing this poorly. But that was a crap shot by that goalkeeper. First, that horrible pass, then Bellotti just scrapes through the defense, and then uh, he's just kind of standing there. He's not doing anything. So, Bellotti's so super excited. 29 shots to zero. And this should be final. Not even another shot. Or will they give us another shot? Nope. That does it. 3-0. Liverpool over Braintree. I'm sorry, folks, that this is such a, you know, a piss-poor game to kind of give you, but I really... Uh, you're... I don't think I need to address much. Okay, whatever. I really didn't want to go too far into the transfer window without an episode, so... Next up, I'm not really sure. We've got a load of games between now and February. Seven freaking matches. What the hell, FIFA? This is insane. Oh well. So I'll try to come back for the second EFL Cup match against Swansea and see how we go from there, as well as have a transfer roundup. But we all have to see how it all progresses. And I probably won't be getting you a video for this Friday. I know today's Tuesday that you're going to hopefully be seeing this. Uh, no video for Friday. I, life just got in the way. I'm hoping to get something up for next Tuesday. Um, we'll see if I get another video or something else that I can quickly edit together. That's probably non-FM related, but yeah, we'll see. This week maybe just be a quiet week. So anyway, as always, thank you, take care, and enjoy.